So what's wrong with Transformers? What is right with Transformers? It is an awful film with some good bits. It's entertaining. It's it's good in a kind of if you want to kind of stop thinking for a couple of hours kind of way. Um, it looks great. And at points it was genuinely gripping. And the 3D was actually impressive. And I won't often comment on 3D because I, I've, I've lost all interest in it. But uh, the 3D was quite good. And a lot of the action pieces were quite sort of, oh, well. Mm. Um, but just the rest of it was so atrociously Bad. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just can't like it was at all. Well, I can because obviously I enjoyed it, but still, it's just like, oh my god, how can like the the, the finest thing that we have to offer these days be that? Be this? Be this? I, I, ah, ah. I, I, I couldn't believe it when I came at the cinema that, that thinking that, that that was that was what we were doing these days. That was the film of today. I mean, okay, proper review. The woman, the woman, Rose Huntington Whiteley or whatever her name is, was abominable. She's British, but yet she didn't seem to manage to, to do her own accent. She, she didn't seem to be able to summer some kind of, you know, just to be able to speak, speak. Oh, and God, I wouldn't even mention the acting. Sheila Booth was dull. Uh, worse than usual, because he was just kind of shouty like this just now. Like, well, I mean, how I'm kind of doing this just now. It's, you know, sort of always just kind of, no, no, but what about, oh, Bumblebee, help me. Oh, God, I'm so angry. And, um, because obviously he sounds like Fozzie Bear the Muppet. But anyway, he just, just, ah, I guess the whole film constantly cliche as a cliche bad moment as a bad moment uh, you'd like the, the, occasionally there'd be a witty line or a wee sort of suspenseful moment that would kind of make you go ooh and you get all sort of hooked in again then of course there'd be another five minutes of slow-mo or another moment of insincere romance between Sheila Booth and insert stick thin model thing you know Lips stick thing. I mean, oh, what can I say about this thing? It was just. I, I, I really. It was very entertaining, but it is not something that I will be recommending to anyone unless you really do have a lot of time to spare and you really are looking for something that is a complete and utter no brainer. Go and see something else, please, God. Transformers was awful. Two out of five, terrible film, horrendously disappointed. Well, actually, I'm not disappointed because I had no expectation whatsoever. After the third one, nothing. No, it, no after the second one, sorry, no expectations whatsoever. My God. Um, I don't think I can see anything else in this. Um, but don't believe me, though. Um, I, this is just a wee opinion, shouting in the dark. Um, you might love it. My friend Sunil, one of my best friends, my good friend Sunil, he loves films like that. G.I. Joe being one of his favourite films and one of my least favourite. Uh, so you might love it, you never know. But I really, really didn't like it. But I did enjoy it.